Welcome to East Bond Street Park and Ride. I've done the parking bit, so let's ride. So welcome to the Lee Guided Busway. A guided busway has been on my uh, bucket list for some time now, and I finally got round to it today. So let's head to the first bus stop. So East Bond Street, the first stop. There's buses around every 15 minutes or so, and one's just pulled in right now, so let's get on. Can I get a day travel card, please? Nice, thank you very much. These buses ain't half busy, sheesh. Love to see it though. So Holden Road, the next stop down. I'm not exactly sure where the whole route necessarily begins. I've just sort of joined where the guided section of this route begins, because you know, it, it's the cool part. So I'm just walking down now. I'm not walking to the next stop because the next stop's about a half hour walk away. A half hour walk between bus stops is mad, but sure. <laughs> Essentially, I just want to walk sort of, not line side, but you know, next to the busway, just because it looks, it just looks interesting. It's just a very, you know, d different bus experience that I've never really had before. Wow, oh my God, busway look both ways. I've never seen that before. I've seen tramway look both ways before, but never busway look both ways. That's so interesting. Anyway, back to uh, the bus stop now, because I don't really want to walk half an hour to the next stop. Not this early on in filming a video anyway. <laughs> and for those curious, I've got myself a one day B Network Any Bus Day Travel Card, which costs me five quid. So, not too shabby price wise. Allows for, as you'd probably expect, unlimited travel on any B Network bus for an entire day. I'll take that deal, thanks. Whilst I would really love to spout, you know, cool, interesting facts about the thing, I've purposefully come here and gone in blind because, you know, just for a proper raw first time riding experience, you know, I don't really know what I'm getting into and I find that kind of more fun. So, yeah, it's the way I'm doing it today. So I believe this section follows an old rail alignment. So that's pretty neat. They've repurposed it into a guided busway, which, you know, it's a cool repurposement, I'll give it that. Thank you. This is so weird. This is so weird. I don't even feel like I'm at a bus stop. This feels more akin to like a tram stop. This is so cool, I love it. <laughs> so building on that point I made on the bus, this guided section is built on, I believe, an old railway alignment from Lee to Ellenbrook. I, I, I think, I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, it is an old railway alignment that has been repurposed into the guided busway. It's also nice to see the B Network branding rolling out in more places. I, I know shockingly little about the whole B Network thing, but I'm assuming it's, you know, collating all the transport within Greater Manchester into sort of one body essentially so you know simplifies fares and stuff or just getting around makes it a bit less complicated. Now it wouldn't be a video of me exploring a place without me having a peep down at least one path. It's been a while since I've actually uh, walked down a random path in a video. <laughs> Kind of missed it. But Cooling Lane, I was actually looking forward to coming the most because it's sort of in the sort of least, or it's the least near to a large built up area. Like there's, you've got this huge green area near the stop. Definitely didn't quite anticipate the weather though. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this bright and warm. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a I'm a little bit toasty in here. Right, anyway, can't stay for too long. Gotta keep moving down the, not, not, not necessarily the line, the, the route. You call it a route on a bus, right? I think. 
Great thing is though, it's a 15 minute service down the guided busway. So I don't really have to wait for that long. 15 minutes is sort of, you know, the, 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 the turn up and go frequency. Hmm, apparently the next bus is in 15 minutes. I've either just missed one, or there's one about to come that's delayed. I hope the latter. You know what, let's check bustimes.org, that'll tell me. Yeah, there isn't one coming this way at the moment. I think I did miss it, just barely. <laughs> oh well. A 15 minute wait isn't the end of the world. Well, here's a little fun info board about the area. If you want to pause the video and give that a read. So as far as I'm aware with the Lee guided busway, um, for at least the guided section, there are seven stops. So we've had three already and there's four more to go and do. Cool, thank you. Again. Astley Street. This definitely hasn't let me down. Yeah, blimey, these buses ain't half busy. And this is during like middle of a weekday as well. All the seats are full. Every bus I've been on so far. Unsurprising given that buses are the most used public transport in this country. It's nice to see it be so used. Although it doesn't half make it a pain in the bum to film on. <laughs> Nice path down to a park though. Cool. I'll take that. Got a very straight section of the busway here. You can see for so far down here from this point. That's so cool. Ah, looks like two of the routes converge at this stop. So our frequency is now effectively doubling. <laughs> All right, I already like the V2. Actually got a seat for once. Not only that, but table seats on a bus. I have never seen that before. Uh, none of the, the stop buttons don't work. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going mad. Oh, well, I just hope we stop at the next one. All oh, right, okay, that button works on the bottom floor. Weird. Thank you very much. Yeah, the V2 seems to be a lot less busy than the V1. I think I might opt for that for the next bus I get on. I'll just skip the next V1 service because it's a lot less busy and a lot nicer to film on. Right, well, I've decided rather than wait at that bus stop, I'm going to walk about a, just, just, just like seven or eight minutes to the next stop down because I want to have a little bit where I walk actually beside the busway. Oh, that was a V1. And that was a lot less busy than the other V1s I've been on. Like, there were a lot of seats available. Also got quite a half-decent view behind those trees back there. Cool, I'm gl glad I've done the, this little walking section. I think it was worth it. Oh, I, uh, I didn't realise there was this little paved bit next to the busway. I'd have walked down here the whole way if I'd known this existed. But uh, yeah, I've only found it like a minute from the stop. <laughs> oh well. Okay, cool, Sail Lane. That took me about seven minutes to walk between those two stops. And I've made it even in time for the next V2. That was worth it. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's only one more stop after this on the guided section. So, yeah, this has gone by surprisingly quickly. But then again, that's what happens when you've only got seven stops on a 15 minute frequency, well, half of it being seven and a half minute frequency route. All right, there it is. Let's get going. Righty-o then, let's finish this guided busway off, shall we? Let's go to the final stop. This has actually really surprised me as to how fun this has been. It's cool. It's a very unique bus riding experience. You're not just on generic roads that you share with cars. 
it gets its own dedicated section to like speed through. I, this is so cool. I actually really like this. And that is the whole Lee guided busway. Cool. Here we are at New Earth Road. Before we finish up though, there is one more thing I'd like to have a quick look at. So I said that the guided portion of the busway is built on a disused rail alignment and after the guided busway there finishes, the disused railway line still continues just as a generic footpath, cycle path. Not gonna walk down there today because, I don't know, I'm very weirdly out of energy today. But yeah, it's here and you can check it out. So yeah, the Lee guided busway. Honestly, I had no idea really what it would be like before coming here, but honestly, I'm very, very surprised. That was very, very fun. Would definitely recommend coming and riding a guided busway, even just for fun. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's just something I've never really done before, and I'm surprised I haven't done it by now, but here we are. Would recommend a guided busway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and a warm welcome to my new standard premium member, East Acton Bus Enthusiast. Thank you all for supporting the channel.